Number 10. The White Lion There is nothing quite like seeing one of your favourite animals turned abnormally pale. Is your brain playing tricks on your eyes? Not quite. And for that matter, there's something magical about seeing the king of the jungle be a gorgeous shade of white. These massive felines are a genetic anomaly. They are the exact same as ordinary lions, except they have a difference in pigmentation. They can also only be found in one place on Earth. White lions can be seen in South Africa, specifically in the Timbavati region. The earliest record of a white lion being sighted in South Africa is from 1938. These majestic lions are even considered divine by many different African cultures. But what's fascinating is that the white lions are not actually albino. Their white colour comes from a recessive trait, otherwise known as a genetic mutation called leucism. It's the same kind of genetic mutation that causes albinism, but less severe. White lions can be found anywhere from blonde to completely white, and this stunning coloration doesn't appear to have any impact on their survival in the wild. Unfortunately for the world, white lions were considered technically extinct from between 1992 and 2004. However, the Global White Lion Protection Trust achieved the unthinkable when they reintroduced white lions into their natural habitat in 2004, and since then the prides have been hunting and breeding successfully. But there are still complications, as unfortunately many white lions have been pillaged and sold to zoos or wildlife parks. The only good news about this is that hopefully they continue to breed in captivity as well as in the wild, and we can keep having white lions in the world for the rest of time. These truly are beautiful and magnificent animals. Number 9. Albino Raccoon You can find raccoons just about anywhere in North America, and they have an adorable bandit-type quality to them. But it's not quite as easy to spot an albino raccoon, for they are extremely rare. Their bleached-appearing counterparts are exceptionally freakish. Because of a genetic mutation, an albino raccoon loses all of its colouring. That includes the bandit stripe across its eyes. The colour goes all the way from the tip of its nose to the tip of its tail, and this results in it not even looking remotely like a raccoon. You might not even realise it's a raccoon until the creature starts going through your garbage. It almost looks like a white rat. Supposedly, any raccoon has a 1 in 10,000 chance of being born with albinism. However, your chance of seeing one is actually 1 in 750,000. It's the exact same odds as being struck by lightning. That's because albino raccoons are easier to spot, which makes it tough to survive and blend in, in a world of bandits and they typically don't live very long. Also, most people identify them as a possum because of their pale colouring. Albino raccoons are so rare that most don't even know they exist. Congratulations, now you do. Of course, an albino raccoon is still a raccoon. If you're ever to witness one of these pale thieves rooting through your trash cans, don't feed it, don't approach it, and definitely don't try to take a selfie with it. Relish the experience and then move along. Albino raccoons can still cause quite a bit of damage if you do get too close. Number 8. Albino Squirrels White squirrels can be found all over North America. However, it's unlikely that you'll ever spot an albino one. White squirrels are super rare, and albino squirrels are even more rare and look like mini unnatural monsters. And although they look similar, they're not the same. There are actually two types of white squirrels found throughout North America. There is the white squirrel and the albino squirrel. The albino squirrel is a genetically mutated grey squirrel, and you can tell the two apart because the albino squirrel will have demonic red eyes and will be plotting to murder you. Not really, but it's sort of hard to tell. On the other hand, the white squirrel is quite peaceful and will have normal black eyes. It's been estimated that only about 20 or 30% of white squirrels in North America are albinos. In order for this to happen, both the squirrel's parents must be carriers of the unique gene. But wait, there's more! There are even more white squirrels out in the world. In Thailand and some parts of East Asia, there is a subspecies of tree squirrel that has a white coat as well. It's known as Finlayson's squirrel and it's pretty stinking cute. It has an extremely long tail and almost looks like a lemur. And here's another fun fact. The eastern fox squirrel can be white too, but it's caused by the condition leucism we mentioned earlier, which causes a decrease of certain pigments, causing the squirrel to be grey with white splotches. Number 7. Albino Zebra the albino zebra, also known as the blonde zebra, is by far one of the most fascinating wild animals in the world. A photographer recently captured some amazing photographs of one while on an expedition in Tanzania. While filming zebras near a watering hole, he spotted the very elusive white zebra, which comes with a golden mane and dusty pale stripes. This zebra was mingling with the rest of the herd in a completely normal way, letting the photographer know that it was accepted despite its contrasting appearance to the rest of its kind. According to National Geographic, which published the photographer's beautiful images, the white zebra that he spotted likely had partial albinism. However, 
Albinism is incredibly rare in zebras. Researchers for a long time have held the belief that any zebra with albinism would have a harder time surviving, but that doesn't appear to be the case, and we're happy for it. Zebras use their stripes for more reasons than just camouflage. They also use their unique look for thermoregulation and to stop bugs from biting them. For this reason, an albino zebra would have a more difficult time deterring insects. This is because flies are more likely to land on a surface that is uniform rather than high contrast. Of course, the white zebra is so ridiculously rare that it hasn't been properly studied, and so scientists are still scrambling to figure out what it means and if we will see more of them in the future. Number 6. Albino Axolotl The axolotl is definitely one of the coolest creatures ever. Also known as the Mexican walking fish, it's a type of salamander, and like other salamanders, the axolotl is able to regrow its limbs if they get cut off. The species used to be found naturally in many lakes in Mexico, but are now considered critically endangered in the wild. However, axolotls have become wildly popular aquarium pets all throughout North America and the rest of the world. And while you typically see pictures of these strange salamanders being bright white, they actually have five different colour types. The white ones you see are all albinos. By breeding certain axolotls together, experts are able to create whichever colour variant they choose. The normal type of salamander found in the wild is going to be a brown colour with gold speckles. But since these critters have heated up as popular pets, you see more of them with genetic mutations. The albino version of the exotic salamander is bright white with red or clear eyes. Even more bewitching is that albino axolotls are often crossbred with leucistic axolotls, which are pale pink and have black eyes. The result is a strange white and pink animal that you can see in many exotic fish stores. Even more incredible is that axolotls are able to suddenly change their own colour to an extent to better camouflage themselves. Number 5. Albino Hummingbird Finding an albino hummingbird sitting outside your balcony is like finding a leprechaun in your basement. It is incredibly rare and very unlikely to happen. And even though albino hummingbirds are likely the last animal anyone ever thinks about having albinism, they really do exist. Albino hummingbirds have white feathers and pink, almost orange eyes. Like other albinos, they are unable to create any dark pigment at all. White hummingbirds function normally, just like other hummingbirds. And while spotting an albino is super rare, you still have a relatively good chance of spotting a leucistic hummingbird, which has black eyes and a black beak and white hair. Still, the difference between the two is pretty obvious. Albino hummingbirds have pink beaks and bright pink feet. Also, albino hummingbirds have less of a chance of surviving in the wild. This is because pure white feathers are weaker than those that have the pigment. This sometimes causes their wings to break during migration. Plus, pale white birds are obviously not very well camouflaged and make for easy targets. Number 4. Albino Kangaroo At a German zoo, an albino kangaroo was born just recently. And yes, she was born from an albino mother. While this is a very rare occurrence, what happened next is quite frankly shocking. Just weeks after her birth, the baby albino kangaroo went missing and authorities believe that she has been stolen. This is shocking for multiple reasons. First, how does a person steal an animal from a zoo without being caught? And second, why on earth would someone steal a kangaroo from a German zoo? There are so many disturbing questions here. According to the news report from The Independent, the kangaroo was last seen in her enclosure on a Wednesday morning and was absent when zookeepers went to close the enclosure that night. The zoo actually phoned in two hunters with dogs to try and track down the kangaroo, but have had no success. Also, the director of the zoo came forward to say that there was no evidence that the kangaroo was eaten by a predator. And we should hope not, it's a zoo! Animals are not supposed to be eating other animals inside of a zoo! As for how rare an albino kangaroo is, there's only one born out of roughly 100,000 animals. It's not a very good trait for a kangaroo to have, because the white fur makes them ridiculously vulnerable to ground predators in the wild. Number 3. Albino Alligator Everyone knows that alligator babies are adorable. When alligators are first born, they are perhaps some of the cutest baby critters in the world. Of course, they eventually grow into terrifying lizards that will eat you at the first opportunity. But still, the babies are quite precious. But if you thought normal baby alligators were cute, you need to take a look at the albinos. At a wildlife center in Florida, a clutch of baby alligators has just been born. These alligators are ridiculously good looking. They were born about 5 inches long and will be staying in protective care for several weeks to ensure their safety. Wild Florida, the sanctuary where they were born, is hoping to come up with some fun winter names for them. The mother and father alligators are also albinos, and they are named Snowflake and Blizzard. There are not very many albino alligators in the wild, and this might be one of the first places where the white beasts will be allowed to thrive and prosper. 
The team at Wild Florida is so dedicated that when the 26 eggs were found, they were swiftly placed into an incubator and kept safe for 81 days before hatching. Number 2. Snowflake the Gorilla If you've never heard of Snowflake the albino gorilla before, you may have been living under a rock. Snowflake was arguably the second most famous gorilla in the world. He lived for 40 years at the Barcelona Zoo before succumbing to skin cancer in 2003. However, it turns out that Snowflake didn't get his albino condition in a very normal way. New research has shown that Snowflake was the product of inbreeding. This gorilla was born into the wild, then captured in 1966 in Equatorial Guinea. He was also the only known white gorilla in the world. That's made him quite a star during his lifetime. It also made him the target for a lot of science experiments and studies. Everyone wanted to know where Snowflake got his pink complexion and white fur. It's a genetic mutation that has never been found in gorillas before. But after Spanish researchers sequenced the gorilla's full genome, they revealed that Snowflake was actually the product of his uncle and his niece breeding. What's really strange about this is that inbreeding is not part of gorilla behavior. According to live science, the only reason for any gorilla species or subspecies to breed within the family is when there is no one else to mate with. The likely issue here is habitat loss, forcing gorillas to mate within the family to produce more offspring. The result in this case was an albino named Snowflake. Number 1. Migaloo the albino humpback whale The last character in today's video is another very famous animal. Migaloo is considered to be the most famous humpback whale on earth. The remarkable creature was first seen in 1991 off the coast of Australia by a group of volunteers who had been conducting a count of local whales. The first photograph of Migaloo was then taken using a telescope from quite some distance away. It wasn't until 1993 that the Pacific Whale Foundation finally encountered the notorious white whale once again off the coast of Australia. It was then that the whale was confirmed to be completely white. But it wasn't until DNA testing was done in 2011 by researchers at the Australian Marine Mammal Centre that Migaloo was confirmed to be a true albino. Coincidentally, 2011 was also the year a second white humpback whale was sighted. The whale appeared to be a calf, but it was not initially known whether the new white whale was the offspring of Migaloo or not. Even though all humpback whales are protected under Australian law, Migaloo and other whales that are at least 90% white have special management and extra protection. This means that no vessel can approach within 1500 feet of the animal. It's a necessary rule to have in place, because people are lunatics and try to get too close to the animal, like the guy in 2003 who drove straight into Migaloo with his boat to get a better look. Number 10. Rabbit Spider The rabbit spider sounds like some kind of crazy hybrid experiment created by a mad scientist, and that's exactly why it's the first on our list today for the strangest insects and arachnids ever. This odd and terrifying arachnid has a black bunny head on its torso, eight long freaky legs, and yes, it's 100% real. It was recently photographed by a nature scientist in the Amazon rainforest of Ecuador, and it's a seriously formidable beast. But just what exactly is this spider doing with a rabbit's head on its back? Well, it's not actually a spider. It's properly known as a bunny harvestman, and it's a type of arachnid you may be familiar with, a species known as daddy longlegs. There are over 6,000 species of harvestman across the planet. There are even fossil records that show they've been around for millions of years, way before dinosaurs ever roamed the earth. This particular species was found in 1959, Scientists believe that the arachnid evolved to the unusual shape of its body as a defense mechanism. The bunny ears and bright yellow dots make it appear as though it's larger and meaner than it really is, which scares away predators. Unlike other species, they only have one pair of eyes. If you are a little freaked out by these arachnids, don't worry. The bunny harvestman is not dangerous to humans. Number 9. The Assassin Bug I wonder what a bug with this name does. The assassin bug is not only a strange insect, it's also one of the most disturbing insects known to mankind. The assassin bug has a gruesome habit of covering itself in the corpses of other insects after it feasts upon their insides. It's like something out of a horror movie for bugs. The assassin bug lives in the forests of Malaysia. It's only about half an inch in size, and yet its ferocity is known all over the world. The sneaky assassin bug captures its victims and then injects them with a special enzyme to dissolve their innards. This makes it easier for the assassin bug to suck out their insides. It basically turns unfortunate victims into a juice box, which it then straps onto its back so that it looks more fearsome. The assassin bug literally harnesses the empty exoskeleton of whichever bug it just ate onto its body using a special sticky secretion. 
The result is that it walks around with a back full of corpses. Of course, the assassin bug doesn't just do this for fun. It's a defense mechanism. All the corpses stuck to its back work kind of like a suit of armor. Researchers from the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Canterbury concluded after an in-depth study that an assassin bug covered in corpses is 10 times less likely to be attacked by its main predator, the jumping spider. This is because spiders are naturally fearful of ants as they have the ability to swarm and easily defeat any measly jumping spider. Number 8. The Devil's Flower Mantis Out of all the insects creeping and crawling around the planet, the mantis is by far one of the most fearsome out there. There's nothing more horrifying than watching a mantis eat another insect alive. These are savage predators most commonly found in Africa. The Devil's Flower Mantis is one of the strangest and also one of the most famous species of mantis ever found. It's a huge insect which can grow to be 4-5 to five inches in length and looks a lot like a pile of leaves. But the Devil's Flower Mantis isn't born with its leafy brown colouring. They are actually born black, which scientists believe is supposed to mimic ants so that predators don't try to eat them. And while there are other mantises out there that prey on a wide variety of insects, the Devil's Flower Mantis only consumes flies. It can of course eat other insects, but it doesn't want to. Young nymphs eat fruit flies while adult mantises eat a collection of bottle flies and moths. In the wild, the Devil's Flower Mantis will sit completely still in a safe location and spend its entire day snatching unsuspecting flies when they get too close. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Thanks for watching! Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these! Number 7. Cuckoo Bee The cuckoo bee is by far the funkiest little bee on Earth. It has evolved quite independently from other bee species. What's really fascinating about this bee is what it does in order to survive. It's a parasitic creature, meaning it uses another animal to help itself thrive. In this case, the cuckoo bee lays its eggs inside of another bee's nest. The cuckoo bees then hatch earlier than the other bees, at which point they eat all the eggs of the bees that actually live in the nest. Savages! The cuckoo bee larvae have larger mandibles than the other bee larvae, allowing them to easily destroy all the other larvae before they even have a chance to live. It's a pretty nasty strategy, but one that has worked out well for the cuckoo bee. The cuckoo bee also looks different from others. They don't have a lot of hair, making them look a bit more like wasps. Also, since they don't actually need to feed their young, they don't collect pollen. They hang out on flowers drinking the nectar, but only so they have enough energy to ravage the nests of normal bees. If they do any pollination, it's totally by accident. Number 6. Pipe Vine Swallowtail Caterpillar There is an insane amount of caterpillars on Earth, but by far one of the strangest is the California Pipe Vine Swallowtail. It's a fascinating creature for one main reason. They look extremely cool. The Pipe Vine Swallowtail Caterpillar grows to be extremely dark, with big orange spikes all over its body. Spikes! These caterpillars look a lot more like angry centipedes than fluffy caterpillars. They are also toxic. According to the United States National Park Service, the Pipe Vine Swallowtail primarily feeds on the shoots of the California Pipe Vine, and in doing so ingests the plant's chemicals. This makes the caterpillar toxic to eat, though it's unlikely poisonous enough to kill a human. And why would a human be eating caterpillars anyway? And like all caterpillars, the pipe vine swallowtail eventually transforms into a gorgeous butterfly. In butterfly form, the pipe vine swallowtail still has its black and orange colouring, except that now it has remarkably glossy wings and flies around drinking nectar. Number 5. The Scorpion-Tailed Spider If you're the kind of person who is easily freaked out by scorpions and spiders, the last little creature you ever want to meet in the wild is the scorpion-tailed spider. This strange monster is exactly what it sounds like. It's a spider equipped with the tail of a scorpion. It's a type of orb weaver spider that was first found in 1863, primarily distributed across East Asia. They aren't very long, only growing to be about one inch. However, the female spider is a bit longer and comes equipped with a scorpion tail, which they use when threatened to ward off predators. The tail doesn't actually sting, and they aren't actually related to scorpions, but they certainly look frightening enough. The proper name for this spider is the Arachnura. They spend most of their time sitting in the very centres of their webs, all day and all night. They are fairly well protected from birds, because they have evolved to look like pieces of plant debris when hiding in their web in plain sight. In fact, you probably wouldn't even recognise one if you walked by its web in the wild, as you would just think that a leaf had gotten stuck in the spider's web. And even though the Arachnura looks horrifying, it's actually not dangerous to humans. The worst that can happen from a bite is a bit of pain and swelling. Number 4. Brazilian Tree Hopper 
The Brazilian treehopper isn't a scary insect by any means, but it is definitely a weird one. According to Science Focus, the Brazilian treehopper is only the size of a pea and dwells in the rainforest of South America. The really fascinating thing about the treehopper is its head. It has two pairs of balls jutting out from what almost looks like a helicopter propeller on the top of its head. Scientists are still not sure what the two pairs of balls are used for, but they believe it could be something like a peacock's tail, where males use it to show off how impressive they are to females. But this might not be the case, considering both males and females have sets of balls on their heads. A secondary explanation for the Brazilian treehopper's strange headdress is that it could be a sort of distraction for predators, causing them to aim at the balls over the insect's head when attacking, which would allow the Brazilian treehopper to run away. But wait for it, because the third theory is the most bonkers. Deep in the jungles of the Amazon, there is a type of parasitic fungus that invades the bodies of ants and then bursts out of them, creating massive globs of fungus on the heads of the deceased insect. Some scientists say that the Brazilian tree hopper evolved to mimic the parasitic fungus. That way, any smart predator would stay away from the tree hopper and the balls on its head instead of risking infection. Wait a second, does it really hop from tree to tree? Not exactly, but they can leap fairly long distances for arachnids. Number 3. Spitting Spiders Spiders are scary enough with their fangs, their venom, their webs, and their overabundance of eyes and legs. They have quick reflexes, they're creepy to look at, and they don't have many fans. So why do spitting spiders even exist? Unfortunately, science doesn't have an answer to this question. What science does know is that spitting spiders are a unique species of arachnid that have the ability to fire sticky nets of silk from a distance just like Spider-Man. This spider is able to shoot a bomb of silk about 90 feet per second, pinning down prey from a distance. Rather than sitting in a nest waiting for an insect to come to them, the spitting spider takes a more aggressive approach. It goes out and hunts. They will hide out during the day, but at night turn into a beast of prey. It comes equipped with what can only be described as a net gun, capturing its victims from the shadows without them ever knowing it was there. Don't fret, they are harmless to humans. There are also about 239 species of spitting spider, and they are found throughout every part of the globe. Number two, spiny flower mantis. The devil's flower mantis is definitely pretty cool, but the spiny flower mantis is even cooler. It's found throughout southern and eastern Africa. This little bug only measures up to two inches. Plus, they are wildly unique. Not only do they look absolutely fabulous with their colorful designs and bright pink eyes, but they are also savage cannibals. The spiny flower mantis usually prefers to sit in the same spot and snatch pollinating insects to eat as they fly. They have also been known to cannibalize each other. Believe it or not, the males are the ones who have the most to be afraid of. Scientists have discovered that the spiny flower mantis female will often eat the male directly after mating, and sometimes even during. Right after the male connects his abdomen to the female's abdomen to mate, she'll turn around and start to eat him. Number 1. The Disco Spider The Disco Spider sounds kind of like a really horrible dance club that went out of business, but it's actually a real arachnid. The spider was recently photographed in Singapore, and people are going crazy over its unique appearance. Right off the bat, the disco spider has a massive disco ball on its abdomen, hence the name. Its body looks like it's made up of tiny little mirrors, which might seem strange as a defense mechanism since predators will be able to easily spot it. However, it's actually a clever disguise. When predators try to eat the disco spider, all of the lights reflecting off its disco ball body confuses whoever is trying to eat them. The shimmering spots will scatter lights just like a disco ball, throwing any predators into a confused frenzy. This will typically allow the spider to get away. Number 10. Bengal Slow Loris The Bengal Slow Loris is the largest of all the Slow Loris animals. This nocturnal creature has a round head, small ears, and eyes that are simply adorable. How could you ever say no to such a sweet looking creature? Slow lorises live in the trees, they eat mainly fruit and insects, and they are extremely fuzzy. The slow loris is also one of the least studied primates in Asia. I know it kind of looks like a lemur, but it's actually not. And while you may want to cuddle up with this incredibly cute tree dweller, you may want to think again. Cute, but deadly. The Bengal slow loris is just as dangerous as every other species of slow loris. This animal produces a volatile and toxic substance from glands on the insides of its elbows. The slow loris can then lick the substance off the inside of its elbows, which then turns its saliva poisonous. When it bites with poison in its mouth, the slow loris can kill with the toxicity. This is definitely not the kind of animal you want hanging around the house. 
Nobody wants a pet with poison elbows. Number nine, otters. Okay, come on. Fluffy kittens and sweet little puppies are definitely some of the cutest animals on the planet. But have you ever seen a little otter holding hands or rubbing cheeks? They slide down hills, wrestle each other, and do all sorts of cute otter things. They are simply adorable. It's easy to see why this animal wins our hearts with its good looks and playfulness. But you might not want to try cuddling with this animal. Don't let the cute memes of otters circulating the internet fool you. They are wild and dangerous animals and can easily inflict horrors on each other and other wildlife. Otters can be found on almost every continent and there are 13 different species. And these mean facts you're about to get hit with apply to them all. Otters need to eat about a quarter of their body weight daily in order to stay warm and they will do just about anything to get food, including threatening their own family. Male otters have been observed stealing the babies of the females and holding them underwater till the female brings them food. They will also violently steal food from each other. There are multiple documented cases of otters lashing out aggressively. In New York at the Bronx Zoo, a monkey sat next to a pond filled with otters. There is a video of the innocent little monkey falling into the water and was then getting attacked by the otters. Another incident at a zoo in England reported a tamarind escaped its enclosure, fell into the otters exhibit, and then was eaten by not-so-innocent otters. The giant otter of the Amazon has an average weight of 75 pounds and can be more than 6 feet. They have a terrible reputation of capsizing canoes. Otters are the perfect example of cute but dangerous. Number 8. Cows. Prepare to be shocked. Many of us see cows on a regular basis. If you live in the country, you'll probably see cows all the time on your daily commute. And while cows are cute and innocent, often lounging around all day in the field and not bothering anybody, this is actually a ruse. Believe it or not, cows can kill. Killer cows! Yes, I know! Here's the story. The best example of this is a recent story reported by the BBC in which a family was attacked by cows while walking in the United Kingdom. A man named Mark had been walking with his 82-year-old mother and some friends when they were ambushed by cows in Cumbria. So far as the story goes, the group saw the cows drinking from a nearby stream and the walkers had to cross over the stream. They really didn't think anything of it. They started walking, then the cows turned around and attacked their dog. It became an absolute frenzy. The dog was trampled to death by the cows and then the cows went after the man's senior mother, knocking her to the ground. She ended up suffering a broken arm from the attack. At the end, everyone got away alive except for the dog, as luckily some of the walkers fought back against the cows with their walking sticks. Mark said he supported farmers, but believes there should be a law ordering them to put up signs for nursing cattle. Number 7. Prairie Dogs Let's take a look at prairie dogs, which aren't actually canines or related to dogs at all. These tiny little animals are pretty adorable looking and they are absolutely no harm to humans, but they are indeed dangerous to other animals. In fact, a new study has shown that the white-tailed prairie dog, which live mostly in Utah, Colorado and Wyoming, are killing machines. These disgruntled herbivores have been caught red-handed murdering squirrels for apparently no reason. The prairie dogs have been caught biting squirrels, shaking them to death and then just leaving their dead bodies in the dirt. They seem to be doing this unprovoked for no reason, but probably with a lot of malice. A researcher and his team at the Arapaho National Wildlife Refuge have so far documented prairie dogs killing over 100 ground squirrels in the last five years. Not only that, but there are 62 suspected killings that prairie dogs were likely involved in. In the time studying this phenomenon, the researchers recorded at least 43 adult prairie dogs, both male and female, participating in the act of murder. In one particularly violent event, researchers witnessed a single prairie dog dig seven squirrel babies out of different dens and kill them unprovoked for no reason. If that's not a dangerous animal, I don't know what is. Number 6. Panda Bear Pandas are a lot of people's favourite animals. It's pretty easy to see why. With their distinctive white coat and black around their eyes, legs and shoulders, they're extremely cute. They have a reputation of being harmless with a charming habit of sneezing. They spend most of their time sleeping or eating bamboo. While it's undeniable that pandas are striking animals, the reality is those teeth aren't just for crunching bamboo. They will use them for protection against predators like snow leopards and jackals. They're pretty docile around humans, but if provoked, they can become extremely aggressive and it would undoubtedly be a mistake to get too close to one in the wild. Pandas are used to being adored by humans when in captivity, but they can be extremely dangerous. In 2006, a drunk and not so bright 28-year-old man named Zhang climbed into the panda enclosure at Beijing Zoo to pet the bear. 
He wanted to show off to his companion, but all he had to show for his brandish display of stupidity was a right calf savaged beyond recognition. Oh, and the panda's bite force is among the highest. Number 5. Dolphins Everyone loves dolphins. They are majestic creatures that are all fun and games and cute to swim with on vacation in Mexico. They are highly social and incredibly clever, and usually seen as friendly animals that love to play and jump through the waves near passing boats. But they also have an evil streak most don't know about until you find out they are secret murderers. Scientists followed a bloody trail of evidence that proves that dolphins aren't exactly the happy creatures humans think they are. Growing evidence shows that 12 foot are killing fellow mammals with their sharp teeth and using their beaks as clubs to bludgeon porpoises by the hundreds. They do this just for the fun of it. They've even been seen murdering their young. Off the coast of Scotland, a researcher watched in disbelief for an hour as an adult dolphin picked up a baby in its mouth and banged it against the water over and over until it sank from view below the water. If they are capable of doing something so horrifying to their own young, imagine what they could do to a human. Experts believe that many tourist attractions will continue until a major incident occurs. Number 4. Honey Badger The honey badger is one of the toughest and most dangerous animals in the animal kingdom. It's also ridiculously adorable. It looks like an evil skunk. Even just looking at the honey badger's face, you can tell it's up to something bad. In terms of being attacked by a honey badger, don't worry too much, it's probably not going to happen. But for any other animal, the honey badger is a menace. These things are highly resistant to the venom from snakes and scorpions. They have a tail that measures 9 inches and can be used as a weapon. They also have a unique two-tone coat that covers their skin and helps them to survive. Plus, the honey badger can endure the bites from just about anything. And they also bite back. Honey badgers can dig, they can fight, and they have pretty much no fear at all. In the Guinness Book of World Records, the honey badger has the title of World's Most Fearless Creature. What other animal will eat poisonous insects, venomous snakes, and even stand up to lions, leopards, and hyenas? They're sort of lazy animals that don't really find the energy to make a home for themselves, but have no problem making themselves comfortable in another creature's residence. It's no wonder that honey badgers have been the subject of memes and internet fame related to their notorious ill-tempered nature. They don't care. They will fight anyone and everyone. Number 3. Hippopotamus Hippos are incredibly cute animals that resemble floating potatoes. Oftentimes you just see their cute little faces sticking out of the water. But don't get it twisted. It doesn't matter how cute they appear to be, they are one of the deadliest animals on land and in water. According to reports, some say they are actually the most dangerous in Africa, more so than lions, snakes and hyenas. They are so aggressive, even crocodiles are afraid of them. They average 3,500 to 4,500 pounds, they probably weigh more than your car, and they can be heavier than that. It's estimated they kill around 3,000 people every year. One of the worst cases recorded in the history of hippos ambushing humans was in 2014. Twelve children and an adult perished when a hippopotamus overturned a boat near Niger's capital, Niamey. Hippos are the tank of the animal kingdom, and their strength should never be underestimated. In 2014, a single giant hippo took on a pride of lions when they made the mistake of trying to have the hippo for dinner. They tend to yawn a lot, which most people believe it means the hippo is relaxed and content. But according to a conservation ecologist, Johan Eckstein, who has studied hippos for 30 years in South Africa, this actually means they are agitated and probably about to strike. Especially if you hear them laughing. So yes, hippos are undeniably adorable looking. But I highly suggest not getting too close. Number 2. Owls Owls are insanely loved creatures. You can't even walk into a store without finding some kind of piece of furniture or decoration with an owl on it, whether it's a clock, a throw pillow, or even just a little statue. And while some people are wildly obsessed with owls, everyone should know that these cute birds are actually violent predators that are dangerous to humans. Owls have actually been known to attack people, seemingly unprovoked. It's highly unlikely you would ever die from being attacked by an owl, but it definitely happens. In one story reported by the San Juan Journal, a man was minding his own business while he jogged up a hill in his residential neighborhood when out of the darkness an owl swooped. He felt razor sharp knives against his head, his hat was ripped away, and then it was all over in the sound of feathers. This particular man did not die, and he wasn't gravely injured, but the fact that he was attacked randomly by a malevolent owl just goes to show that these unique and attractive birds can cause harm, and you should watch out. Also, in the docuseries The Staircase, a man accused of murdering his wife by pushing her down the stairs, Michael Peterson, pled that it wasn't him. 
He claims it was an owl that actually got through an open door in the house, which sat in a heavily wooded area, swooped down upon her and knocked her down the stairs. I don't know about that, but it's definitely suspect. Number 1. Horse Forget all about snakes and spiders. The most dangerous animal in Australia is actually the horse. According to a new study by the Melbourne University, researchers have discovered that more Australians have been killed by horses in the last few years than by any of the venomous creatures in the country. Between 2000 and 2013, snake bites killed 27 people, ticks and ants killed 5 people, box jellyfish killed 3 people, spiders actually killed 0 people, but a whopping 74 Australians were trampled to death by a horse. How's that for statistics? The horse, one of the most beautiful and beloved animals of all time, except for maybe dogs, is actually a bloodthirsty beast trampling Australians to death. No one would have expected that, especially in a country as full of dangerous wildlife as Australia. Are any of these dangerous animals a surprise to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and be sure to come back soon for more fun videos. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.